Hi everyone, I'd like to welcome you to a new video from RunHorse.com Sports. Going to talk about this year's Kentucky Derby and wow, we have controversy here in the Derby. Did this year's winner cheat to win it? That is the question asked right now and the reason is Kentucky Derby winner Medina Spirit fails a drug test. That is mandatory, ladies and gentlemen, they are tested. The winner is always tested after a big win like that. His trainer has been suspended as of now. And we're talking about Bob Baffert, Hall of Fame horse racing trainer, Bob Baffert. He came along with this little horse and he won his seventh Kentucky Derby. And he has been no stranger to controversy. Unfortunately, this trainer, he has been accused of doping in the past. Shortly after trainer Bob Baffert revealed the failed test on Sunday morning, Derby host Churchill Downs announced Baffert was indefinitely suspended from the track. You heard that right. He has been suspended indefinitely from Churchill Downs. The horse that won the 2021 Kentucky Derby, Medina Spirit, has failed a drug test. And Hall of Fame trainer Bob Baffert has been indefinitely suspended from Churchill Downs, officials said Sunday. In a news conference Sunday morning, Baffert said the winning horse tested positive for 21 picograms of beta methasone, 11 picograms above the legal limit in Kentucky racing. Shortly after, Churchill Downs, who hosts the Derby, announced his suspension. Value to comply with the rules and medication protocols jeopardizes the safety of the horses and jockeys. The integrity of our sport and the reputation of the Kentucky Derby and all who participate. Churchill Downs will not tolerate it, said the organization in a statement. And if he did cheat, this is going to be one of the biggest scandals in history. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about the race. This is the race in the world, the Kentucky Derby. You're talking about one of the greatest races in the world. It is certainly the greatest race in America. It is known as the fastest two minutes in sports. And wow, this is big, big news. And if he did cheat, he not only cheated the fans, he cheated the public, he cheated the betters. He cheated the betters. Imagine how many betters here were involved in this. You're talking about millions of dollars wagered. And if he cheated somehow, or he gave this horse medication, to help this horse win, then he definitely cheated the public. He cheated the betters. And how much money was bet on this race, guys? We're talking millions of dollars. Millions of dollars could have been won or lost. The results were Medina Spirit first. He went off at around 12 to 1. So if they had an edge on this horse and they knew that he had a possibility of, uh, of coming in, even coming in the top three, you can imagine how much money was at stake that they could have won betting on this horse. And you had a big long shot coming in there second, Mandaloon. This horse was around 28 to 1. So if this horse wins, it changes everything. It changes everything, ladies and gentlemen. You had Hot Rod Charlie in there for third. A lot of people used Hot Rod Charlie in the exacta. A lot of people might have had that first two, and that was a big exact, and including myself, I actually had a bet, because if you go back to our video, I actually picked 15, 8, 7 in the Derby. So I picked the Medina Spirit and Mandaloon. That was two of my picks. They finished second and third. So I had them first and second. I also had Hot Rod Charlie. So you're talking about a lot of money here, guys, and you're talking several hundred dollars more in the exacta easily. And Hot Rod Charlie finished a third. He would have moved up to second. So all that place money. And the biggest thing, the biggest thing here was the favorite, essential quality, the favorite, the most money bet on is the favorite, ladies and gentlemen. And that was essential quality, and he finished fourth. He finished fourth. So imagine all of those show tickets that had this horse in the money, or people that had played this horse for third in the trifecta, and they had gotten beat out because possibly the trainer cheated. And who got cheated most of all? Who got cheated most of all would be this poor horse, Medina Spirit. That would be really have cheated this horse because if he is, if they are found to have medicated this horse illegally or doped this horse let's just put it out there straight guys if they have doped this horse then he's going to be disqualified and he will be 
not known as a Kentucky Derby winner anymore. It will go to Mandaloon. The winner will go to Mandaloon, the second place finisher. Baffert called the drug test results disturbing and the biggest gut punch in racing for something I didn't do. So let's be straight there. Baffert says he did not do it. He did not know about it. That is a possibility. So let's talk about the possibilities, guys. There's three possibilities in my mind that could have happened. Possibility one is it's a false test. It's a false positive, and he could be innocent. He could be 100% innocent, and if that's the case, then I'd like to apologize to Bob Baffert and wish him the best. But his track record, guys, is suspect. His track record is suspect, and I'm going to go back to what happened recently, and this was just recently. There was a horse called Gamin, which is a very, very well-known horse, and Gamin is also trained by Bob Baffert, and she ran in the Kentucky Oaks last year, and she was disqualified from the Kentucky Oaks, and trainer Bob Baffert was fined. He was fined, okay? And here's the story here. Gamin has been disqualified from a third-place finish in last year's Kentucky Oaks, and Hall of Fame trainer Bob Baffert fined $1,500. Only $1,500, guys. That is a pittance. That is a pittance. If you are cheating... If you are cheating, you are not only cheating the fans, you are cheating the public, and you are putting a black eye on the sport. There's no other way to say it. You are putting a black eye on the sport, and that is uncalled for. That cannot go on, guys. And we're at a time where racing already has a bad image in some people's minds. Some people think there's people out there like PETA that they say racing is abusive. They're talking about the horses being overwhipped. They're talking about that. And this would just be another black eye in the face of racing if you say that horses are being doped. And a lot of people think already that horses are being doped and that racing is fixed. And I have to tell them all the time that that's not the case. But when you see headlines like this, and in the biggest race, the biggest race of all to do it in. Tell me it's not so, Bob. Tell me you didn't do it. Please tell me you didn't do it. After a post-race test showed the Philly had anti-inflammatory in her system. Okay, she was disqualified. This happened already. Bob Baffert's horse, Gamin, was disqualified from last year. Kentucky Stewards issued their ruling on January the 30th. And it was posted on the Kentucky Horse Racing Commission's website this week. Baffert waived his right to a formal hearing before the stewards. Well, what does that tell me? That tells me he was guilty. Because you don't waive your right to a hearing unless you... You feel like you did it. The stewards ordered Gamin's prize money of $120,000 from the September 4th race at Churchill Downs to be forfeited. As a result of the DQ, speech was moved up from 4th to 3rd in the Oaks, which was won by She Dares the Devil. Gamin's post-race blood test revealed the presence of anti-inflammatory beta-methasone. Wow, sound familiar, guys? Let me see. Let me go back to the other article. That sounds like what he is being accused of right now again. Here we go here. It says Baffert said the winning horse tested positive. Now we're talking about Medina Spirit, the Kentucky Derby winner, for 21 picograms of beta-methasone. So here it is again, guys. It is a pattern. We see a pattern developing here and now. Gamin disqualified last year, trained by Bob Baffert with the same anti-inflammatory. That does not sound like a coincidence to me, which is legal in Kentucky, but must be cleared at least 14 days before a race. It is a Class C drug in the state. So it's legal to administer this drug. It has to be done more than 14 days before a race. So that is the question here. Was he, was he giving this drug closer to the race? And that is an anti-inflammatory. So if the horse has inflammation, it will bring down that inflammation. Now, before the Kentucky Derby, Gamin was disqualified from a May 2nd race that she won at Oakland Park in Arkansas. A post-race test showed the local anesthetic lidocaine in her system. So Baffert, he's got a history, guys. He has got a history. And another horse, another Bob Baffert horse, Charlatan, another great horse, was disqualified the same day from his victory in a division of the Arkansas Derby for the same medication. So what's going on here, guys? It sounds like the evidence is adding up and it is not sounding good for Mr. Baffert. And that is a shame. And they need to get their act together, guys. If a trainer... No matter who the trainer is, is caught doing something like this, they need to be suspended and they need to be suspended for a long time. You are taking away the integrity of the sport. You're giving the sport a black eye. You are taking money out of the pockets of betters. I know that. You are taking money out of the pockets of betters and they are the backbone of the sport. 
the fans and the people that bet on racing. And if they don't believe in the integrity of racing, then it's hard to go forward with the game, guys. And that's what it is. That's what it is exactly. Okay, so we talked about the possibility. Possibility number one, he is completely innocent. It is some kind of mistake. I'm not really buying that with his track record. Possibility number two, somebody else is administering medication to these horses and he is not aware of it. It could be his staff. It could be someone that takes care of these horses. It could even be someone to frame him. Maybe they want to frame Mr. Baffert. I don't know. It's possible. There's people out there doing crazy things. Maybe they want to see him out of the sport. It's not likely, but it's a possibility. I got to take this as a possibility. And then we've got possibility number three, that he's a cheater. He's a cheater and he's been cheating for a while and he's been getting away with it because of the lax regulations in racing and they were not enforcing the rules on him before and they were giving these little tiny fines to him and he's a multimillionaire and he has multimillionaires that back him that were just a slap on the wrist and maybe he had gotten away with it and he had gotten used to it and he thought he could keep doing it. So that is the third possibility. He's just a flat out cheater. And a lot of people have been accusing Mr. Baffert for years. And now, now it seems like the scrutiny is on him. It's been on him for a while and maybe he was caught. It looks like he may have been caught. Okay. And I want to be clear about this. I don't know for sure. And what I'm saying is all my opinion and it is also speculation, but it is also backed up by fact. He's been caught before and his horse have been disqualified. And he has been suspended from a Churchill Downs indefinitely while they look into this. So what will happen? What's going to happen now? This is going to go to a laboratory. It's going to be tested more thoroughly. The sample, the blood of this horse. And they are going to decide. They are going to decide if he broke the rules or not. And if he did, this horse is going to lose his Kentucky Derby win. He's going to lose it. And he's going to forfeit all the money that was won in the Derby, and that is a shame. And this poor horse did nothing wrong. That is the worst of it. This poor horse did nothing wrong. And who suffers the most? The betters. Like I said, the betters and the fans. They will really suffer here because not only one did they lose money, they are going to lose respect for the sport, and they are going to walk away with a bad taste in their mouth. And a lot of people are going to see this on the news. It's going to be a terrible, terrible headline. It already is a terrible headline. It is going to be one more. Black Eye and Racing, unfortunately. So let's hope that that is not the case. Wow, I hope, I hope that somehow he is exonerated and that it was not, it was not a, a cheat. He's not a cheat. Let's put it this way. Tell me what you think about it, guys. Do you think he cheated? Do you think he was set up? Or do you think it is a mistake and he's going to be exonerated? We're going to find out that in a few days. So please leave your comments below. Tell me what you think about this controversial Kentucky Derby 2021 Medina Spirit. Will it stand or will he be stricken from the record books? We'll see you guys in the next video from runhorse.com sports. Wow, I hope this comes out in a positive light in the end.